at Kitt Peak Observatory in Arizona. Solar astronomer Matt Penn studies this solar surface to discover how photons of light get trapped. There's a bunch of theories today, but hopefully we'll get some data. Using the McNath Pierce telescope, he focuses the sun's light to scan the photosphere in detail. So what we've got are a few small sunspots on the disk of the sun. We've got two sunspots, uh, two large ones. They're heading off to the edge of the sun, to the limb of the sun. But they're all accompanied by smaller sunspots, groups of smaller ones following them. Sunspots mark areas where light is trapped. So a sunspot forms a dark spot by removing energy from that part of the sun. It's blocking the convective flows that transport the heat and the light from inside the sun to space. And so what we see then is a cooler region that appears dark to us. A powerful force stops our photon dead in its tracks, preventing its light and energy from leaving the sun's surface. That force is magnetism. Sunspots take shape where intense magnetism from deep inside the sun blasts up through the photosphere. The magnetic fields are so strong that it actually stops the convective motion of hot inner material from flowing to the surface. So you actually get what looks like a cool spot on the surface of the sun. They can be huge, the largest over 10 times the size of Earth. <laughs> 